Hello everyone. In this video we are sharing you a very important topic or you can say it as a very rare topic that nobody tell you even that you have started your job as a microbiologist or have done your masters. In this video we are going to share you basic information regarding autoclave volume and purchasing procedure and this video is absolutely experience based. First let's discuss how to measure the volume of your existing autoclave. You can do this by yourself and share your autoclave measuring experience in comments below. When I was a fresher, I am surprised that why some of micro equipment volume we say in liters. For example, incubators, autoclave, dry oven, etc. Like I have 10 liter incubator in my lab. So how we can measure the volume of incubator or autoclave? Let's do this on autoclave. For autoclave volume measurement, there is a formula that is for circumference from which we find radius. For suppose, if we have an autoclave, so let's draw it. Its depth, its height, we don't know the radius and also we don't know the volume. So what we do for that? We know its depth and we know its height. Or suppose autoclave depth is 14 inches, height is 25 inches, we don't know the radius and we also don't know the volume. So we put the formula for the radius of cylinder. That is radius is equal to depth divided by 2. We put the value of depth 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. So we found the radius as 7. Now for the volume of cylinder we have a formula pi r square h we put the constant of pi 3.14 multiply by r that is 7 and we put the square multiply by 25 that is the height. Now we will do calculations 3.14 multiply by 49 multiply by 25 the result will be 3846.5 we will divide this answer 3 times by 12 and here comes out the answer in CFM now we want the answer in liters so I am converting this answer into liters 2.28 CFM multiply by 28.36 28.36 is a unit of CFM. The answer is 64.66 liters. That means our volume of autoclave is 65 liters. Now second related topic is what points must be in our mind when we are going to buy new autoclave. Number one is limit of your work that is directly proportional to workload in your lab your daily routine of testing, your media discarding activity or routine, your lab size or autoclave room size or volume. So you can make sure where you put your autoclave after purchasing. And of course, make, model and cost of autoclave must be in your mind and within company's financial limit. Make sure to get the manual of your autoclave from the supplier and also do the validation by the supplier especially design qualification and installation qualification that is DQ and IQ. PQ and OQ is most probably done by the user. But you can ask the supplier because some suppliers will provide you the IQ, OQ and PQ collectively. You must take the manual and the documentation of IQ, OQ, PQ from the supplier. Hope you understand a lot of things regarding purchasing of autoclave by this video. That is I must say a very rare video related to microbiology lab. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe this channel and click on the bell icon so you may get notifications and updates regarding new videos. If you are foodie and like food, do visit the above channel mentioned on the card. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.